Hi, little learners, welcome back. I'm Miss Patty from the Cyberium, and guess what we're gonna read about today? Well, I guess you could just take a look at the titles of the books, and you could look at what I have behind me. But I do have a friend that's gonna come visit. His name is Artie, and he's gonna be with us for some story times. He's a really special robot. He can go ahead and turn around, and if I put a marker in him on the bottom, he can go ahead and write letters and design things for us. So I'm gonna be working on learning how to do that, and we're gonna design letters when we're learning our letters and in the alphabet. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and start today. Uh, you know how much I love to sing songs, and I think you do too. So go ahead and get up, and we're gonna go ahead and start by if you're happy and you know it. And we're gonna kind of say hello, just to say hello and start our time together. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. How about the next one, stomping your feet? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Okay, now we're gonna say hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. Hello everyone, welcome back. The title of the book that we're gonna be reading today is Hello Robots, written by Joan Holub and illustrated by Chris Dickerson. This book is really funny. It, it talks about how robots also need order in their morning. Do you have order when you get yourself ready in the morning? Do you do the first thing, then the second, then the third? Well, this book is really funny because it shows how when things are out of order, how kind of crazy things could get and then how they went ahead and put, it, put themselves back into routine. Let's read it together. Hello, robots. Hello, Buzz, hello, Beep, hello, robots, fast asleep. They're counting sheep, this little robot. This one right here. One, two, three. Wake up, the alarm clock says. Get dressed, robots. Robots leaping from their beds, robots standing on their heads. Time for shoes, socks go on top. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Socks on top of shoes? Then do a robot belly flop. Shorts and shirts. Next, underpants. Underpants on top of the shirts and shorts. Hmm. Then they do a clanky robot dance. <laughs> what would that look like? Can you do a clanky robot dance? Brushing bolts before they eat. That's like brushing your teeth before you eat. No, 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 that doesn't seem right. At the table, take a seat. <laughs> Squirt the milk, pour the O's. Robots know where each bowl goes on their head. I don't know about that. To the bathroom in the tub, robots scrubbing rub a dub. Time to go, robots. Uh-oh, are they ready to go? Did they go ahead and have a good order in the morning to get them ready for their day? I'm not sure. They, the way they were dressed does not compute, does not compute. They were like, there's something wrong here. So what they did is they decided that they must reboot over here. So if we take a look, the robots here start waking up very nicely, and then they decide to eat their cereal, first the cereal, then pour the milk in the bowl, not on their head, and then they brush their teeth after they eat, and then they brush their hair, and then they put their underwear in the right place, their shoes, 
they are all rebooted and they go to school and they're very happy now that they followed order so that they get ready for their day in the right way. I hope you got ready for your day in the right way too also and I hope you like this book. So little learners, uh, we have some robots here and um, what do you think? Are they the same or is there something different between them? Yeah, I think that they're different sizes. So we have some that are smaller and some that are bigger. This one's a bigger one here and some that are smaller. Now, if we were to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and put them in order from smallest to biggest, it would be first the smallest and then the next and the next and the next until you get to the biggest. So let's start. If you look at them here, I would go ahead and say this one looks like it's the smallest, right? Because I compare it smaller than this one, smaller than this one. So I'll start here and I'll put them all kind of in the same line so I know which ones um, belong where. So the next one, hmm, it could be this one or this one. So I'll take this one and I'll put it next to it. I go, okay, this one's the next one. I kind of make a line, put them right in the same area here. Then, which one do you think? This one? I think that one's too big. How about this one? Too big too, so let's try this one. Kind of these two look the same, but I'll put them next to each other. Oh, this one's smaller, so we're going from smallest to biggest. So I'll put that one right there. And then I think this one looks like it's next. Move this one up. This one's next. Ha, huh, these two look really big. This one seems to be the one that's next. And the biggest of them all, yep. That one we go ahead and leave for last. So whenever you have to put something in order, this particular order is small robot, then a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger, and then the biggest one of all. So this is the order. Now you can do the other order too. Biggest to smallest. Smallest to biggest. Very good. I hope you had a lot of fun putting robots in order. I love putting things in order. I would imagine that maybe in your room you might have places where you put the little toys, and the medium-sized toys, and the bigger toys. It's kind of a way to keep order and know where everything is. So that was fun. I hope you liked that. Space Bot is the book we're gonna be reading next by Mike Tauhi. And here's the title page, like I always show you, and the publisher. And we'd like to go ahead and Thank Simon Schuster for allowing us and giving us permission to read this together today. So there's a little puppy outside in the doghouse and it's really dark, beautiful, beautiful night sky. And it's late at night, distant light. So he sees a light far away. We can't sleep, something strange, feel a change. So all the electronics in the kitchen, kind of feeling something, beep, beep, beep. They're even making a little bit of noise. Hmm. House looks up, so does pup. Getting bright, scary sight. It's a big light coming closer and closer. Shakes with fear, almost here. Rumbling sound coming down. Pup won't go. It's a UFO, unidentified flying object. Wow, who could be in it? Comes down hard, shakes the yard, opens wide, peeks outside. Look what's coming out. Wow, yippee, you're like me. <laughs> Can we play? The space bot. Looks like a little puppy, right? Like a dog. Walks away. Bow, wow, wow. 
woof, woof, woof. Beep, beep, pow. Beep, beep, pow. Here's a cheer. Oh, look at everybody in the kitchen. All the kitchen gadgets are cheering him on. Space spots here, they say. Seems like they know each other. You're like us. What a fuss. Oh, because they're like each other. Pup's left out, starts to pout. Boo hoo. He's sad. Points to sky. We can fly. Loopity loop, beep beep boop, vacuums cloud, whirls real loud, misbehaves, microwaves. <laughs> From below, time to go. Everyone fun, everyone, fun is done. Gadgets glide back inside. Up and down. Can you do that? Up and down, up and down. He's trying to fly. Still on ground. Walks by pup, climbs on up. Beep, beep, catch. And throws a ball to pup, closes hatch. It's my nose. My ball glows. Starts to lift. Special gift. The ball is a special gift. What do you think it did? It allowed him, gave him the power to start lifting off. Bow, wow, wow. Beep, beep, pow. And there he goes. He's lifted up into the air. To the moon. Come back soon. Okay, little learners, let's get up and let's sing a song and let's move a little bit. We're going to sing five little robots jumping on the bed all the way down to one. Are you ready? Let's go. Five little robots jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more robots jumping on the bed. Let's go to the next one. Four little robots jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more robots jumping on the bed. Three little robots jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more robots jumping on the bed. Two little robots jumping on the bed. One fell off and, yes, bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more robots jumping on the bed. We have how many left? Uh-oh. One little robot jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, put those robots right to bed. <laughs> Yay. Well, that's the end of our story time, little learners. I hope you enjoyed the books and I hope you enjoyed the counting, the robots falling out of bed and our putting order from smallest to largest. Um, so let's, we can go ahead and do it one more time to say goodbye. Let's do largest to smallest this time. Ready? So this one is the biggest. And then let's see, this one looks like it's bigger than each one of these. I'm gonna put it right next to it. And then, which one do you think? This one. And then this one. And now they're all in bed sleeping. Good night, little robots. Bye, little learners. See you soon.